Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Testing Minibytes. I am your friend Amudan Shaktivedh. In this video, we are going to see one of the exciting features that what Serenade APM offers, right? Uh, think it, think about, we gave you the freedom to create your own custom commands, right? Let's say in APM, we use click, send keys, uh, we do different, uh, you know, commands, right? So similarly, what if we give you the freedom to create your own commands? So that you know you can write something like this. Let's say you want to create a new command called triple click, which doesn't really exist, but for some bad reasons you want to do that, right? Uh, you can do that. So how we are going to do that is basically, you know, the code will look like this: the so dollar of element, and then you can call execute method, and then you can pass the instance of the class, which which holds the implementation for your bad feature. Similarly, many of us would, would have liked to have some feature like click if exist, right? Upper uh, send keys if it only exist, because sometimes uh, the button might be visible, sometimes it not be visible because the uh, you know there can be a feature flag that uh, basically controls this element. So at that time, what we do if this present is displayed, we want to click on it. We write a lot of if conditions and do that, right? Um, so which is which is actually the good practice, right? Because we need to know what we are doing in our test. But for some weight reasons, if you want to have an op option to create a command uh, that you want to only click if the element is existing. If it not exists, don't throw any error, move to the next step. So that's how you want to implement this particular command. So you can create crazy commands like this. Let's see how we can do that with Selenid API. So let's go to the uh, you know stuff. Um, let's see. This is a product that we are trying to click here, right? So we are trying to click on the product. Um, so what I want to do is I only want to click if it exists. If it doesn't exist, I don't want to click it. So let's create a, a class implementation for this. So I want to create a package called commands and let me call it as uh, click if exist. Guys, again, the good practice is to use um, if condition, if this element is displayed, Click on it. That's the best practice. But this is is a, is a is a just a demonstration of how we can create commands like this. Okay. So there is a class called as commands. Okay. So sorry, the command, and this actually comes from Selenade. Okay. There is a lot of command classes. Choose the one from Selenade, and uh, the type generic type is Selenade element. Once you do that. Uh, sorry, this is an uh, interface, so you can have to implement it. And then, so this this how it is. So it, it this method uh, execute has three parameters that you need to use. For example, the element itself, and then you can get um, you know web element source here. For example, web element source dot. So if, if you want to get the driver here, you want to check uh, whether the element is you know clickable, editable. You want to get the name of the element. So all these custom options are available for you to work with. So, but for us, we just want to find the element and then we want to click on it, right? So uh, we can just say selected element dot click. But I I want to control it, right? So if it exists, okay. If it doesn't exist, ignore it. So I will use a try try catch block, right? Um, and now catch. Uh, so this basically. If the element is not existing, I think Selenide is throwing an error type. It's not throwing exception, it's throwing error. So you have to handle it like this, right? You, you cannot catch an exception if because again, catching an error is not a good thing to do. It is not recommended, but this is a weight requirement. Like, like I told, maybe I'm, I'm high on weeds, so I'm trying to do that, but just a demonstration of how we can create our own custom commands, right? So don't do this, okay? Uh, catching an error is, is basically not recommended. Uh, so yeah, so once if the element is present, I will click on it. Otherwise, I will catch it and then I don't do anything, right? So, so that's what it is. Let's go here and then go here and here uh, just call execute and then new click if exists, right? So which means we are creating an instance of this particular class. Uh, so this method, what it does is it goes to the implementation and see what the implementation is provided and then execute it. So let's try to run it and then see what's happening. This time the test should actually pass because the element will actually appear and then it should pass. 
So again, you can create double click, double click, any any random stuff that you want to create, like scroll within a view and stuff like that, say. So it, it launched the app and then it's it's trying to do something. I think I have played around with the with the exports here. So so this is not a valid export. So so I have to remove this. But if the element, so the whatever the element that we mentioned is not there, right? So you should have thrown error at this 34th line. Let's see where it thrown errors. Okay. Uh, let's go down and then see it has thrown error at a different page. So so the it thrown error at the next step. Okay, if you go to the demo test on Java, after clicking on the product, we want to check whether the add to cut button is present. So so error is thrown here and not here, which means if the element is not present here, it actually ignored it. It did throw the error here. Let's say if if you give the correct X parts and this time it should work properly, and then it should click on the product. So this is this is how you can quickly create your own custom commands uh, and then click this if exists is just one piece of it. You can create whatever the custom command you want and then use it in your own projects, right? Um, yeah, that's all about it. I'll see you guys in another great video. Until then, tada, bye bye for a moment. Bye.